Now, the showdown between public sector workers and government is set to play out in the Labour Court today. Unions want to enforce the final year of a three-year wage agreement signed with government back in 2018. Now, government has backtracked on that original agreement, saying that it actually can't afford salary increases due to the COVID-19 pandemic and budget constraints. Unions are pushing for the case to go ahead. After out-of-court settlement talks collapsed, government has targeted the public sector uh, as one way of cutting spending and of bringing state debts under control. Now, today's court battle will impact some 1.2 million public sector workers. Let's get you the latest on the story. We're joined now by Ruben Maleka. He is spokesperson for the Public Servants Association of South Africa. Uh, Ruben, you and I have spoken a number of times over the past few months uh, as we continue to discuss the issues around government bringing debt under control, government operating under major constraints due to the COVID-19 lockdown. But the PSA says public sector workers are not the ones to foot the bill here. Yes, thank you very much, Michelle, and good morning to the voice of Newsroom. Yeah, indeed, the matter is continuing today in the Labour Appeal Court. And um, the reasons that government is advancing of lack of funds is something that has been coming since last year, uh, even be way before the COVID-19. Yes, we know that the COVID-19 has actually had an impact in terms of economic situation, but the government has already last year said that they cannot afford um, what we term a very little insignificant adjustment of 4.4% of public servants. And we believe that at this point in time, yes, they might be saying that public servants are pointing fingers to government, but the politicians or government itself has long left uh, the, you know, the highness and people that are looting to, to be, you know, just on, 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 a, on, on a paradise. Because where we are today, we're having situations where the looting has been normalized as just not another crime. Because now out of being, not being able to contain looting, they want to contain the fiscals by making us as public servants to, to sacrifice. That's why today we are in the Labour Appeal Court and we expect that it's going to rule in our favour and we expect government to make sure that they honour the argument. The 2020, the final leg of the agreement, um, it proposes that public servants receive salary increases of between 4.4% and 5.4%, depending on, on their salary scale. I mean, given all of the restrictions, is the PSA still insisting on those increases at a time when very few people, if any, are actually getting increases in 2020? Yes, indeed. Remember, here we are talking about a resolution that was budgeted for in 2018. And of course, like I acknowledge the fact that there is challenges in terms of what the COVID-19 has brought. But at the same time, we are talking about a situation here where you would find some of the politicians, when they are faced with a crime related to uh, uh, corruption or you know stealing of fiscals, they would actually go to an extent of hiring unemployed to come and protest before courts in the name of saying hands off a particular person. How do you have a situation where uh, when crime is being committed by somebody who must lead and show us the way and that person is afraid to be uh, you know, hauled before the court and is coming with all tricks and hiring all kinds of people to come and protest out of out of court and you now expect us as public servants to also sit back and say that no let the corruption continue let the bleeding continue on the fiscals and we will bear the brand we will be the ones who will sacrifice our salaries we cannot be made to uh, the scapegoat and to sacrifice our salaries and be blackmailed that the country is in trouble the country is not in trouble because of salaries of public servants mm. the country is not in trouble because of the current situation of COVID-19. This has been coming a long way and politicians were relaxed. So they cannot come a situation today that you want to put uh, the yoke on the neck of public servants because of 
what the uh, what has been squandered by the uh, yeah. the politicians themselves. Yeah. We are not going to be made a black uh, scapegoat. It has come a long way that now we are even told that uh, we must be understanding because next year is local government elections. What does has has got to do with us public servants? The local governments will come and go, but we have to be paid according to what has been agreed to. So, so Ruben, you know, as I try to play devil's advocate here, this this would be the first time in about 10 years, in about a decade, that government uh, doesn't pay salary increases to public servants. Uh, again, I'm going to ask you, you know, given the times, given the economic times, given the strain on the fiscus, given that is the, it's the first time in a decade, is this not a sacrifice that public servants should be expected to make, in your opinion? Look, the sacrifice happens in the bargaining uh, uh, forums. And we are ready to table new demands for next year, 2021. And that's where we, we are saying government must come and open their books and will engage them. But unfortunately, we are not in a position to renegotiate a resolution that has been budgeted for. We are saying we see and we can hear on the ground that uh, you know some of, of companies and the impact of COVID-19 is out there. And that's why if you look at our demands of 2021, are more of not uh, monetary value, are more of uh, understanding that we need to deal with certain issues in a different way. But on this particular one of 2018, we believe that it has its own budget. It's unfortunate that there was squandering of fiscals and the very same politicians are the ones who agreed that they've got money. Then they can't come today and say that they can't honor that agreement. Yeah. We want that agreement to be honored and be paid, and we will discuss any kind of hardships in the next round of negotiations that will happen before the end of this year. Right. So the increases were meant to be implemented from, in fact, the 1st of April 2020. Uh, this court case that happens today, uh, is the demand here that the increase now be backdated? Surely, definitely. And... Michelle, we have been writing letters, we have been communicating with the Minister for Public Service Administration, and he has actually four times in writing committed that they will honor the agreement, backdated to 1 April. We were shocked up until June when he could not honor the agreement, so unless if he was just bluffing us. But he knew all the time. That's why he could even commit that he commits that the DPSA will implement the salaries. Yes, of course. This agreement will be backdated to 1 April 2020. Ruben, thanks very much for coming on to the AM Report. Always a pleasure talking to you. He is the spokesperson for the Public Servants Association. It's a showdown today between the public sector, uh, between workers, some 1.2 million workers and government in the Labour Court today. Unions, as you've just heard Ruben Maleka outline to us, want to enforce the final year of a three-year wage deal that was agreed to back in 2018.